Good morning, guys. Today we'll talk about convalescent plasma therapy. So first, what is convalescent plasma therapy? So convalescent plasma therapy is an experimental treatment that some doctors are using for people with severe coronavirus disease. So according to the source I've searched, there's still no drug has been approved to be safe and effective for treating COVID-19. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration hasn't approved any drugs specifically to treat people with COVID-19. But people who have recovered from COVID-19 have antibodies, a protein that used to fight off infection to the disease in their blood. Um, the blood from people who have recovered is called convalescent plasma therapy. So the plasma is the liquid portion of the blood. Researchers hope that convalescent plasma therapy can be given to people with severe COVID-19 to boost their ability to fight the virus. It also might help keep people who are moderately ill from becoming more ill and experiencing COVID-19 complications. So, if you had a COVID-19 and recovered from it, consider donating blood through the American Red Cross or your location donating center. Either can provide information about the donation process. So why is it uh, why is it convalescent plasma therapy done? So this is maybe helpful for people with COVID-19 who aren't helped by other treatments. Some people with COVID-19 become very sick and don't respond to other treatments or drugs. These people often develop acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS, a severe lung condition. They often require mechanical assistance such as ventilator to breathe and these people are in danger of developing organ failure. It could also help other people who may have a higher risk of serious illness such as people with chronic medical condition, for example, heart disease or diabetes, or those people who have weakened immune systems. Convalescent plasma could help these people from getting sicker if they get COVID-19. So convalescent plasma might be also considered for family members or healthcare workers who have been exposed to some with COVID-19 to potentially prevent them from getting COVID-19. Doctors may choose to enroll the person with COVID-19 in an expanded access program and order convalescent plasma for him or her. This type of program provides access to investigational new drugs outside of clin clinical trials. And this type of program is sometimes necessary when a disease is very severe or life-threatening and there is no available treatment. So, and donating convalescent plasma, plasma has a risk and the risks are blood and plasma have been used to treat many other conditions and they are usually very safe. The risk of contacting COVID-19 infection from receiving convalescent plasma therapy hasn't been tested yet. But then, researchers believe that the risk is very low because the plasma donor has fully recovered from the infection. The convalescent plasma therapy carries the risk of allergic reaction, lung damage and difficulty of breathing, transmission of infections including HIV and hepatitis B and C. The risk of disinfection is very low because donated blood must be must meet certain requirements outlined by the FDA. Before donated blood can be used, it must be tested for safety. It then goes through a process to separate out blood cells to all that is left in plasma with antibodies. Although many people experience no symptoms, others have mild to severe medical complications that lead to death in some people. So what can you expect uh, in the convalescent plasma therapy? So your doctor may consider you a candidate for convalescent plasma therapy if you are seriously ill with COVID-19 in the hospital. Your doctor will decide if it will be beneficial for you and may enroll you in a treatment program. If you or a family member has questions about convalescent plasma therapy, ask your doctor. Your doctor will order convalescent plasma that is compatible with your blood type from your hospital's local blood supplier. So, before the procedure, your healthcare team prepares you for the procedure. A healthcare team member inserts a sterile single use needle connected to a tube into the vein 
in one of your arms. During the procedure, when the plasma arrives, the sterile plasma bag is attached to the tube and the plasma drip out of the bag and into the tube. It takes one or two hours to complete the procedure. After the procedure, because this is investigational therapy hasn't been tested, will be closely monitored after the convalescent plasma procedure. Your doctor will record your response and reaction to the treatment. He or she may record how long you needed to stay in the hospital or if you needed help with breathing or other therapies following the convalescent plasma procedure. The results is not yet known if convalescent plasma therapy will be an effective treatment for COVID-19. may not experience any benefit. However, this treatment might improve your ability to recover from disease. The collective results from other receiving convalescent plasma therapy can provide information about the effectiveness of the therapy and whether it can come approved therapy to treat COVID-19. In preliminary treatment, many people have benefited from convalescent plasma therapy. Researchers continue to evaluate the results from people who received the therapy. And by studying the results of this therapy for COVID-19, doctors are getting closer to finding treatment. In addition, le learning more the use of convalescent plasma therapy now will help care workers be better prepared to provide optimal patient care. So that's all guys. I hope you have learned or you have, oh yeah, you have learned something from the discussion.